Hi, I'm Aprajita Jain and welcome to the next episode of Art Insider. Today we speak about performance art. What is performance art? Well, it sort of straddles different traditional mediums of music, theatre, dance and sculpture. It is one of the most fertile grounds for creative expression and exploration within contemporary art. We speak to Pooja Sood, director coach, who has been supporting performance art since the very 1990s. Hi, welcome to Art Insider. Glad to have you back. And I'm here with Pooja Sood, who's the director of the Koj International Artists Association. And I wanted to talk to Pooja about performance art because Koj has been sort of supporting and fostering performance art since its very beginning foundations in 97. Um, just for our viewers, how would you define performance art? I don't know whether I define performance art, I define live art work that artists do live, sometimes with their body, sometimes not, sometimes that they, they orchestrate others to do work. So you're saying you don't like the term performance art? No, I'm saying I don't know how to define performance art because it's not performing arts, it's not it dance and music all the time, it is. But I think it took a while for us to understand that it came, it was distinct from dance and, and theater and um, you know, the performing arts that are traditionally known as the performing arts. Well, but arts. just to be the devil's advocate, I mean, it does borrow a lot from those Not only does it borrow, it actually sits very uneasily mm. at the edge of something that is the performing arts mm. and sometimes the visual arts mm. and somewhere in between. Mm. In fact, the first performance art uh, festival that we did, which was Koj Live 8, in 2008. Koj uh, Live 8. Yeah, mm. it was, uh, we had about 25 performances, half Indian, half international, mm. which we had commissioned. And we did them over six days across Delhi in different galleries, one a night with a big party. And that, I think, it came after three years of doing small residencies around performance where we began with understanding that performance art was really about the body, somehow that, you know, the body spoke and that was the site of art mm. and then went on to understand that the, that the audience was as much a performer within a milieu, a certain setting. And I think the Koj Live Aid kind of opened that up to us in a big way because you had artists who were orchestrating things. Orchestrating uh, the audience. Orchestrating the audience really mm. to do stuff. Mm. Uh, in a mm. sometimes subtle and sometimes not so subtle way. Mm. Of course, there were many artists who were really focused on the body, something which was about language or lack of. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And mm. then in Koj 2012, as you know, when Subo did that project with the Spirit Eaters, it was really oh, choreographing it, as did Vivan Sundram with a whole, uh, you know, when he looked at fashion. Mm. So I think mm. performance art is called, and uh, now sound artists, when they perform live, mm. that is performance too. Mm. So it is all at the edge, but it co crosses many boundaries. Well, that makes sense because while we're looking at the other mediums in, in our show, we're looking at painting. And, and especially painting and drawing, mm. which are still very much there, but have changed very oh, much. Yeah. I mean, mm. especially an artist that we talked to, Rohini Devishar, has taken drawing into a performative level and yes. an architectural space. And, and Barty Kerr, with her bindis, has taken painting into the sort of the space of the found object. Yeah. So I think it makes sense that performance art would become more popular now with artists because, again, it's in this this hinge point yeah. it seems a lot of artists are attracted to these also don't forget performance art if it's the body is the site in a country like ours where material is expensive i mean the fact that, art, that i would imagine that more artists would use their body to explain stuff One yes other really than the fact that it is ephemeral and it doesn't give you an object to sell or even to ship to a show in another well, city i'm not sure because the photograph today of a performance, like mm. people like um, Nick Hill, mm. who did one of his earliest performances with us, actually. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, he, his photographs sell well. Yes, that's and true. And his videos sell well. And, and Sonia Karana with Sonia her Karana videos Sonia Karana with her too. photographs yeah. and videos too. Yeah. So I think, um, well, it's actually inverted because a lot of performance started with performing for the camera. Mm -hmm. So if you think of Sonia Karana, you think of Surekha, you think of Eve Pushmamala, of course, very, it's all performative. Very con consciously thinking of the, of the residue, the, the recording of the performance as the art object. Well, yeah. it started with that till it became live. Then they stepped uh, out of it. Uh, and now it's kind of the documentation of the live has become uh, the artwork. So uh. it's a very strange thing. It started with artwork. Peter pays a visit to the Heritage Hotel art space established in Goa, both as a residency as well as laboratory for the development of performance arts. Let's have a look at what he discovers there. 
Hello. Hi, Peter. Hi, Hi Nicola. How are you? Hey, good to and see you. You must be Romy. Romy Luster, I right? I am Romy. Great. So I found it. <laughs> yeah. This is it. It's, the, a, the, it's, it's an easy find. But this is the Heritage Hotel. Art Spaces. Art Spaces. Fantastic. Yes. So, um, so Roma finds the place, and then Nickel decides to become his partner in crime. And what was the next step? Move in, actually. <laughs> we, we literally had to bring our boxes of art supplies, costumes, makeup, wigs, musical instruments, drum kits. And some kitchen goods. I and guess. some kitchen goods, stocked the kitchen up with and coffee. So now it's going to function as both a residency space and an actual exhibition space? It's not an exhibition space as much as it's a residency space. Um, what we do once in six weeks is open our doors to the public uh, and share our ideas, experiments, collaborations without any emphasis or pressure on finished pieces or realized pieces. Um, they can be in the middle of people's processes, in the middle of tests and ideas so that there is a little bit more freedom and fluidity with the way in which we interact with an audience here. And so the three artists that you just had here, one was from New York and one was from Ljubljana. Yes, from Slovenia. One is from, uh, one is from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah. So is that kind of the, what you're hoping to keep, this sort of international mix going on? Yes. Very important point. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, especially, yeah. I mean, especially today, I mean, nothing. It's just we have to be like more and more open to the others, like the, the world in general. Yeah. Art is a very um, nice way to uh, crystallize, you know, to kind of like fix the, the idea of this world that is mixed, you know, like mixed culture, mixed people, mm. mixed. Yeah. We had like shows like inviting um, shamans from the Amazon, you know, and that interesting because as performer, okay, there's like this ceremony things going on, then for us it's as well a way to Look at the costume. You the actually colors. have sh shamans yeah. from the, the Amazon. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where's okay. the funding come from? How do, how, how do they get here? <laughs> so that's, Who buys that's, the that's shamans the plane ticket? Well, well th this is great about Goa, right? Because it becomes, it's a really, it's it's a place where people go through a lot. Yeah. Ah, so so it's really great. Good. It's yeah. also a hub for all sorts of alternatives, ways of thinking. Mm. So it's like alternative ways of healing. Mm. Uh, mm. alternative ways of living in terms of what you people eat here and that con body consciousness is... Mm. is so a, this is, is perhaps more of an institute for, for creative thinking rather than a, a, even a, 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 with a... With an emphasis on, I feel performance is very much a part of yeah, that yeah, thread definitely. that runs through a lot of the work that people bring here. Um, and I feel we fill a certain gap because, you know, performance is... Uh, it doesn't really have a, a fixed place, and I feel that we can create a performance studio. It's time for a break, but when we return, we speak to two artists exploring the radical fringes of performance art. <laughs> <laughs> 